Hey guys, what is up? It's me, it's Anna, and today I've got a new video for I've got I've got a new video for you guys. Um, today I've got a new video for you guys. Um, I'm gonna be making I don't even know the name in English. Let me look it up. G gingerbread. What the fuck? So apparently today I'm going to be making some gingerbread. I never know it was called gingerbread. Um, that's a surprise. Yeah, today I'm going to be making some gingerbread. Here I have all the ingredients I need. And over here I have like a bowl and a mixer. So let me get the ingredients ready and then we can start. Uh, first, we need to like heat up the oven uh, to 180 degrees. So let's do that. Okay, so now let's get a scale and get everything we need in the right measurements. Um, we first need 200 grams of... Not very good guys. We need 200 grams. First, we need 200 grams of almond flour, and we also need like 100 grams of something that's called erythritol or something, but that's expensive, so we don't have that. Instead, I'm gonna be using some grape sugar, and I hope I still have enough. Uh, yeah, we need 100 grams of that. We need 50 grams unsalted butter. We need some cream cheese, which I have here. We need four eggs, two teaspoons of baking powder, two spoons of cookie spices. I don't know if that's the right name, but whatever. Um, we need like a pinch of salt, but I never do that, so we're not gonna do that. And we need one teaspoon of... And we need one teaspoon of vanilla aroma or whatever. And we need some pecan nuts, but I don't have that. So instead I have almonds and walnuts. Okay, so let me put this to the side. So we can measure the stuff. And I'm gonna like put you guys down a bit so you can see what I'm doing. We already have 200 grams of almond flour. I seriously hope that it's in focus because I'm not really sure. But we already have 200 grams of almond flour. And then we need 100 grams of grape sugar. So I'm going to measure some. And I seriously hope that we have enough. Yes, otherwise I have to go to the store again. I don't have exactly enough. I have 84 grams of grape sugar, which is kind of annoying, but I think we'll be fine. So, whatever. Now we need 50 grams of cream cheese. So let's get that. It looks disgusting, I know, but it's gonna taste fine. Okay, so we have 51, just a tad too much, but we're gonna be fine. We can put this to the side. There you go. This. And we need 50 grams of unsalted butter. 36. Bottom of the fork. 53, all right, that's fine. Easy. Ik pak mijn verrekijker. Kweek hoek, hij ziet goed. <laughs> In a big bowl, we need to mix the almond flour. So let's get my scissors. God. Um, salt. No, wait, you know what? Let's just. There's a cap on it. Dash of salt. I still don't know what it's called. I call it cookie spices, but I'm 100% certain that's not what you call it. Okay, so we need two, two tablespoons of cookie spices. So let's get that. 
how this is gonna take ages. It's so much easier. I can. Oh my god, I just did it the hard way every fucking time. One. Two. Two teaspoons of baking powder. One. Also, the oh shit, this is gluten free. So, if you have a gluten free diet, you can also have this. Two. So, we need to mix this. So, I'm gonna grab the mixer. Right, so I think we're good now. There were just a few clumps. Uh, oh my god! Like I was about to say before I got really interrupted by the clock that's still ticking. Um, there were a few clumps in there. There still are, which is kind of annoying, but we're fine now. Now we need to mix the butter and cream cheese in a bowl. Need to put that together. Let's just this so that's done we need to put this in microwave for 30 seconds and we need to do this until the butter and the cream cheese are melted together and then we need to just stir it so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this in a microwave to melt it so it's all melted and as you can see it's quite hot because there is literal steam coming of it so i put it in just a tad too long right i'm gonna grab a bigger bowl because i need a bigger bowl um let's um, we're gonna put the grape sugar in here and then we need to mix it with oh no then we need to mix it with like the butter and the cream cheese and we need to put in what was it again a, a teaspoon yeah one teaspoon of vanilla aroma vanilla vanilla extract it's vanilla extract what the fuck so Let's just pour that in there, and then a teaspoon, and let's grab a bit of vanilla extract, there we go. So we need one tablespoon of this, hello, right, so that's all empty. <laughs> so let's just put that in here. So we need to mix this. It looks so fucking gross. I don't even know if you can see it, but look at this. Alright, so now we need to throw this in here. There we go. And we need to mix that together with four eggs but before you throw in the eggs you need to like mix it first so i am gonna go ahead and mix it before i throw in the eggs we're so much better if we had like a glass bowl so you could see what i'm doing so this is what it looks like now, just a bit like crumbly. 
There are still some white pieces of that stupid baking powder left and it's annoying. Oh my god, this has chicken feathers and chicken shit. I'm gonna throw this in there. Oh god, that almost went wrong. Two. I'm gonna do it with one hand. Look. Ta da! Three. Four. Right, so now I've got egg everywhere on my hands. And now we need to mix it again. Well, um, the mixer can't handle it anymore. Uh, great. Now we are gonna go and throw in a bit of almonds and walnuts. It says here that you're supposed to like put that on top as like a garnish. But last time I did it, I did it like this as well because that way you have like a bit of like stuff throughout the bread. I don't know, just kind of exciting. Oh no, where the hell did it go? Oh, it's in there. <laughs> Right, so those are the almonds. Now we're gonna throw in some walnuts. Just crumple those up also, because otherwise you're gonna have huge lumps of walnuts in there, and we don't want that. That's what good pussy sounds like. Lahmar? <laughs> that way I don't have to clean up a lot when it's done, so... Alright, so now we're gonna go and scoop in the batter just like this. So it might look a bit disgusting now, but it's gonna be all fine in the end, I promise. And a few walnuts. Right, then we need to like, cut those in half because those are quite big. <laughs> now we have this beautiful dish and we need to put it in the oven that's preheated on 180 degrees for 35 minutes. So it's in the oven for 35 minutes. That means that we can just clean up this mess. And I'll be back to you guys in 35 minutes with the finished product.